What is up? I'm a wanted turtle. So today we are opening up another box of Modern Horizons since our first box went really well. Uh, check those out, those previous videos. We hit an EV of $280. I was really happy with that um, my complaint was that we didn't get a foil land and we only got two of the land the horizon lands however we did get a foil mythic so that was awesome so I think we'll open up another one uh, trying to figure out which of these boxes to go with uh, sometimes I'll pick like the one that's more damaged uh, especially then it gives me the option to keep the other one in a good condition this one this looks like the box is a little dented uh, although they would both look pretty good so we're going with this one. Let's get into it. I really like this set so far. For compared to like, you know, like Battle Bond, or I guess we didn't open any Ultimate Masters, or the War of the Spark. I think this one's War of the Spark had its own appeal, uh, which this one doesn't have. Uh, but I'm still, I still think it's really cool. Something it's very different, and a lot of cool stuff to be had. A lot of valuable stuff too. Although the price is like almost double. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to go with this side of the box. Move this off to the side and let's get into it. We got the bear. The bear pack. So once again, uh, so if you haven't, if you're interested in getting your own set. Oh, so this is interesting. Um, that our first box, the like the token and stuff was in the front and now it's in the back. So this has like more of the typical um, setup where the co uncommons are in the front and then the uncommons followed by ooh, we have a we have a myth uh, foil then the uncommons talisman hierarchy blizzard strix sadistic obsession jeez and ooh prismatic vista okay very good hit right there and then we do have a foil knight of bold banalia Planes. I like this guy. I don't remember his name, but he's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, if you if you're interested in getting a set, check the links down below. Uh, Drop.com does have a good sale. I think it's like 182, and the cheapest I could find on eBay was about 183. Um, definitely see if you were depending on the state that you're in, if you can get away without paying tax, and that saved quite a bit that way. All right, looks like Dom right here, but is the Ruination Rainier right here? Vengeful Devil, Lonely Sandbar, and then a Cordial Vampire. Not that good right there. Then we have, have a Foil Token. Alright, so we did get that Prismatic Vista again, which essentially is a um, fetch for basics, but it comes into play untapped, which is nice. Alright, yeah, Forgotten Cave, Goblin Matron is a pretty good card. Talisman of Conviction and Eladomri's Call. I'm not sure this card. Search your library for a creature card reveal and put it into your hand and shuffle. Hmm, that's pretty good. I feel like that'd be good for. Um, I'm trying to think. The Titan Amulet. I wonder if that'd be good for there. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's instant speed. And then if you need if you need to get your primeval titan or you're looking for the the creature that allows you to play two additional lands, that maybe that's a safe way to kinda of like tutor those up on demand. Alright, let's see, we got King of the Pride, Hollow Head Sliver, Generous Gift, and Oh man, another Red and Six! Alright, so I feel like we're about to, so far this is very similar box. Uh, we got a Ren and Six last time, and so there we go, our first mythic, and it's one of the better ones. Very good, very good pull right there. And we do have a sliver art card. Alright, so I really would not mind copying last box. Uh, just if I could make some tweak tweaks, get more horizon lands. Um, Foil Land, and another Foil Mythic, of course. Frostwalk Bastion, Throws of Chaos, and then Force of Virtue. Okay, I don't think we pulled this last time. And I do think this card... I'm just going to move some stuff off to the side. It's getting in my way. So, Force of Virtue. Uh, I feel like it's kind of awkward to play on your opponent's turn to kind of like scratch your card just to get this on the battlefield. But maybe this card could be pretty good. Um, although I kind of doubt it. Feel like if you 
need the plus like kind of like those uh enchantments to give all plus one plus one you might be kind of on the aggro side or um trying to end the game and i feel like you need all the cards you can get so yeah spending two cards just for a plus one plus one for all creatures don't think it's worth it land or tribe interesting card face of divinity Abominable tree folk archmage's charm this uh, i think this the foil price of this is pretty high uh choose one counter target spell or uh, target player can draw two cards and it is at instant speed gain control target permanent with one mana or less one mana or less so i feel like a lot of um tokens they, they're considered like zero mana so i wonder if that's a way like let's say merit lodge or something can you use that on merit lodge of non-land permanent with converted mana cost one or less hmm. maybe that's a really good card wonder if you know in a comment if you know whether that can work on merit lodge let me know in a comment down below sounds a little broken to be honest scale up this is a very this card's insane so it starts three speed but one until the end of the turn target creature you control becomes a worm uh, base power and toughness six four so imagine if you're just trying to you know burst your opponent down and you just turn something in six four uh this thing is pretty cool flying in haste for all your slivers only two mana too all right, let's get those Horizon lands. That, I feel like that's the only thing we've been missing from this set. And uh, as always, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, also hit that sub button. We do a lot of Mirrodin Besiege. This card's not very good. Then a Foil Uncommon, Shainer Assumptions, Shatter Assumptions. Um... Yeah, definitely hit that sub button. We do a lot of Pokemon content. And then we do a mix of different things like Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, obviously some Magic Gathering as well as some different TCGs. Like we opened a box of Force of Will. Um, a card fight Vanguard. Which was kind of... Was... Actually no, I haven't posted yet. I'm probably post that in the very near future. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Rebuild. And oh, here we go. Fiery Islet. This is definitely the best... Um, Horizon Land. I find that very interesting. Uh, the difference between Modern and Legacy. I feel like Legacy is all about um, blue black, where Modern the the uh, blue red um, thing when you can splash those seems to be worth a lot, like uh, steam vents and the like of that. Maybe it's because of. Um, I wonder if it's Arc. The um, Arc Life Phoenix. I wonder if that single handedly is causing that to be the case. Alright, let's see. Tempered Sliver. Exclude. Talisman of Conviction. And then Pashlik Mons. Right, not too good there. Alright, I think after we're done with this half box, we'll do the fire up the TCG player app and see how close we are. Um, for this opening, so we're box as far as halfway through the box, see how we are to kind of like um, getting our money's worth for this box. Runation Rider, Lava Belly Sliver, and then oh, here we go. That's second Horizon Land. There we go. Uh, Sun Big Canyon, uh, Red White. I'm not sure how good that one is. Although it'll, I think it'll be hard to beat our last box. Considering we got a foil mythic in that box, I feel like if we get um, obviously another foil mythic would be amazing, but if we just get a foil rare, if it's a land cycle, I feel like it's going to need to be a land cycle or bust, or then we won't be able to catch up to that box. Firebolt, uh, one red for firebolt deals two damage to any t any target with flashback, sorcery speed, a dreadscape sliver, and then cunning evasion. And then the Endling. I don't think that's anything very good. Pretty cool art card right there. And a Foil Squirrel. All right. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm guessing that the multiple places uh, kind of like were involved in the printing of this. So I feel like usually when it's the other way around, I feel like a lot of times that means they were uh, printed Japan. Wow, we are getting a lot of the same mythics and Hex Drinker. 
Aw, oh, man. Foil Genesis. I don't think this is that good. At the beginning, your upkeep of Genesis is in your graveyard. You may pay three. If you do, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that's disappointing. Hopefully, we get another foil, um, foil rare. But uh, yeah, we for as far as the mythic slot, so far it's exactly the same. I'm trying to think, uh, what are our, what are our other mythics were? I feel like Ren was the best one. We didn't get the uh, Urza, which is the biggest hit. Sling Gang Lieutenant, Valiant Changeling, Dismantling Blow, Plague Engineer, Death Touch. Uh, play in, into battlefield, choose creature type. Oh, I like this card. I feel like this is a really good um, control type card. Very nice. I think that's Throws of Chaos. Okay, if you have opened up your own box of Modern Horizons, let me know how your own polls have been going. So far, I'm really happy with how mine have been. Oh, Silent Clearing! Yes, all right. So we did get three Horizon Lands. So, although our Foil Rare was a huge disappointment, but I do think we have a shot at beating our first box as far as EV goes. In this first side, uh, yeah, can't. it's not going to match up to that Foil Mythic, but still kind of, um, still conf or not conf I'm still hopeful. Deep Forest Hermit. Don't think this thing is that good. And uh, this guy, Hushuk. Look, very cool art. Um, pretty interesting card. All right, looks like we only have two packs left for this first half of the box. And just so I don't have the video go super long, I'll probably just cut it off there and uh, wrap up the box in a second in another video. Crypt Rats, Regrowth, uh, Sisei. And oh, whenever I see the foil in the back, I keep thinking it's going to be. I keep forgetting that the token can be foil, which is <laughs> not going to lie. It's very disappointing when when I'm expecting a. Like, oh, is this going to be another foil rare or something? And this pack is not. It's giving me trouble. All right, <laughs> that was more difficult than should have been. All right, can we get some last pack magic? We got a grave shifter. It looks very much like the grave digger. Scuttling Sliver, uh, interesting, and Echoes, Etchings of the Chosen, and Winds of Abandon, uh, so nothing great there. Alright, I'll be right back, I'm gonna fire up the TCG player app and see how he did for the first half of this box. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, we did pretty good uh, for... Just, so we just scanned the rares and mythics and we are at 119 so we're past like the halfway mark if you consider like the EV that we're going for is at least 200 um, however I, I, I'm not that confident that we'll make it just because the Ren and Six was great and we already have three um, three of the horizon lands so it's gonna be tough um, and we already got a foil rare so we're gonna need to get even more lands which will be tough and some good mythics I feel like we're gonna need a Urza to make it past that 200 mark uh, but either way very strong start to the box and uh, yeah so uh, thanks for watching definitely stay tuned for part number two we'll probably release it later today and uh, yeah like comment subscribe all down below thanks for watching thanks for all the support I'm Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace